So in this video, we're going to discuss and demonstrate high velocity, low amplitude technique for the thoracic spine. Now, uh, on review of principles of high velocity, low amplitude technique, uh, we will recall that it's a direct technique, which means for whatever segment we're planning to treat, we want to make sure that we're putting it towards its uh, restricted barrier. So I've already diagnosed my patient with uh, T4 flexed, rotated right, side bent right. So now my positioning is going to be uh, so that my hand and my thenar eminence is moving that specific vertebra into its uh, restricted barrier. So I'm going to stand opposite the side of the posterior transverse process. And for my patient's diagnosis, the posterior transverse process is on the right side. So I'm standing on the left. I'm going to have my patient cross their arms in front of them. So go ahead and cross your arms. Great. Just like that. You want to make sure that the far shoulder is over the near shoulder so that you're lifting the scapula on that side that you're going to be treating um, as far up and out uh, of the way as possible. So you can get your thenar eminence on that transverse process. Now here, uh, you have a couple different options of how you're going to roll them, but uh, I prefer to use my forearm on their arms uh, to kind of roll them towards me. And then I use my other hand to kind of scoop medial to the scapula and find the spinous processes. So most easy from the uh, upper part, I can find uh, C7 and T1 and then work my, down, my way down and find um, our T7. Once I found T7, I want to make sure to adjust my, uh, my contact so that my thenar eminence is on the transverse process of T4. The rest of my hand is crossing the midline, crossing the spinous processes, and is relaxed on the other side of the, uh, my patient. Now from here, I want to make, take my other hand and contact uh, their elbows and bring their elbows to my epigastrum. Now from here, I can approach the rotation barrier. So the rotation barrier is to the left for my patient. So I'm going to rotate my patient's torso to the right. And my thenar eminence on that right transverse process is going to be moving that specific segment relatively to the left, which is its restricted barrier. So once I reach that restricted barrier, wherever I feel I'm at the feathers edge of the barrier, I can also add uh, a little bit of extra flexion or extension or also some side bending and I would do that using cradling. So now uh, can you lift your head a little bit? Putting my hand kind of under their occiput here, I can cradle and further uh, engage their barrier. So their barrier would be also be side bending to the left. There are flex segments so it would be extended and I want to find and reach the best restricted barrier that I can find to maximize our restriction. Now go ahead and take a breath in and out. And each time I'm going to be approaching the restricted barrier a little bit closer. Go ahead, another breath in. And now at the end of this breath, I'm going to thrust downwards into my DNR eminence. Okay. Now at this point, you return them to neutral, and then you'd reassess that thoracic spine in whatever uh, way you initially did.